about the survey. Oh, uh, I'm so glad I started the recording in the stream right at that moment. <laughs> great place to, to start it. But Jesse, make sure you put that in the meeting minutes that you're disappointed with all of us adults. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. She already wrote it in the eboard chat. I am. It's... <laughs> I, I apologize because I literally thought that was you guys talking amongst yourselves. So... No! I said everyone. I did at here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you can do what games do you like? I guess. Is that relevant? I don't know. It could differ if it's for people applying, it could differentiate them. Just so you'd be like, "Oh, this guy likes this. This guy likes." I don't know. It could be just a trivial question that we ask. Yeah. Jesse really doesn't care enough to do it. We're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> she just gave me the meanest death glare. I don't. I'm out. I'm gonna stop talking now. And then I shrug too. On top of that. <laughs> All right. So, well, we. I will look at that right after this meeting. Thank you. Or you can look at it right now. No, no, he can do it after the meeting. It's fine. All right, so are, are we good to start then, or do you guys want to wait for uh, Christian? How late did you say he was going to be? He, he just didn't. said late. Oops. I would say let's just get going. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. We can, we'll just think of any tasks that we come up with. Anything that we can yes. that has to get done. Yes. Gets it. Yes, yeah. perfect. Exactly. Just perfect. Late. Yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, kind of a lot to talk about today, actually. So uh, first of all, uh, welcome to Brian's Strongest Dog Jones. He's officially joined our post-U team, and he'll be our Overwatch and Valorant coach. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Thanks, guys. Um so yeah, just getting uh, hitting the ground running with the uh, with the two teams had simultaneous practices and a match last night as well. <laughs> yeah, we've been busy already. We're we're going we're going already. <laughs> we're going hard. But anyways, um, welcome, welcome, and uh, quickly with the esports wrap up. Um, last Wednesday, Overwatch lost to Providence College. Uh, Rocket League Orange lost to West Virginia University on Thursday. Uh, Rocket League Purple got a win due to a forfeit, and our League of Legends team lost to Carroll University. Um, our NBA 2K21 teams lost to Lakeland University and Stockton University while defeating Five Towns College and SUNY Empire. And on Monday this week, our Smash Brothers Purple team defeated Elmira while Smash Brothers Orange lost to SUNY Polytechnic. And last night, Valorant lost to RPI, while our NBA 2K teams went a combined 1-1 one one so far. Uh, tonight, we have a doubleheader with uh, Rocket League Orange taking on Sacramento State University at 8, followed by Overwatch against Farmingdale State College at 9. And then tomorrow night at 8, Rocket League Purple also plays Farmingdale State College. Uh, then on Friday at 8, pending a reschedule, our League of Legends team will take on SUNY Plattsburgh. Uh, Big Buddha Burr, one of our NBA 2K players, has decided to leave the team for personal reasons. And um, that does it for the esports wrap-up. Uh, so moving on to Avis news, um, I still haven't heard back from Erica regarding the prize pool for the Rocket League tournament, so I'm holding off on that for now. But uh, as soon as I know, you all will know about that. Um, and then we can lock in a date. Uh, John Crapian from the Dean's Cup reached out to me about a partnership to run a Call of Duty Warzone event in March for post students. I know very little about that game, so if anyone plays and would like to help set it up, please reach out to me. Does anybody here play? Oh, yeah. I All right. play. All right, cool. So uh, do you want me to have him reach out to you, Dustin? You guys can kind of organize that? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, have him reach out to me. That'll, be, that'll work. I will. It was a kind of. It was kind of not like he was not very specific because he said um, a partnership with the esports club. So I don't. I don't know if he meant Avis or if he meant the esports teams. But in any case, I think it probably make more sense for it to be Avis anyways. So um, we'll put that in the Avis bucket, and uh, I'll I'll connect you too. Um, Speaking uh, to you, Dustin, you had a great stream last week as part of our celebration of Black History Month. Do you want to talk a little bit about the game you played? Yeah, so, um, oh my god, what was the name of it?
some of it. I just had it in my mind. Um, I had it open a little while ago. Um, but the stream was great. I mean, it was fun. It's a really interesting, more of a two-dimensional game. Um, really good concept. Really easy to play, kind of maneuvering and just battles. It was like more of like a um, action battles, you know, not really slash and hack, but it was still very fun, you know, I gotta say. And I'm actually continuing to play it more and more. It's it's really good. What was it um, on? Xbox? No, it was on uh, PC. I had it on PC here. Nice. So one thing I'll chime in is Dustin uh, so graciously offered to um, cover me this week because the I had some stuff that occurred that it didn't oh. seem like. So I'm not gonna stream this Thursday. I will stream okay. next Thursday. Okay. Um. So I will stream probably. I'll probably honestly stream Valorant next Thursday. Okay. Cool. Um. If anybody wants to play, <clears throat> Parker, Dustin, um. Then we can do that. But so are you gonna are you gonna um. You gonna stream that game again, or are you gonna stream something different? I was gonna try to do something different. Um, I did have another game that I shared with you guys the other day that was um. Oh, what was the name of it? Oh my god, there's so many of them coming out right now. Uh, give me one second. Let me just pull it up. Somewhere down here in my chat. Um, that Sky game. Um, I might play that. That's what I'm thinking of playing actually. And if not, I'm gonna be playing the same one I played last week, the Oran uh, Legacy of um, Kari Ordan. And that was but, what um, you played. That was the name of the game you were just talking about. Week. Yeah, or on yeah. It, nice. it, that was a great game. It's really good, really good concepts too. I like it. So nice. Um, so I think I'm gonna try Sky um, to play that this tomorrow because um, I just downloaded it actually too. So nice. Um, and what's that on? Also that's, PC. That's PC too. Yeah. And what was the develop? What are the developers for those? Uh, so the developer for Sky is from thatgamecompany.com. Uh, that's the name of them. It's a really funny name. That game company. And yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and, the and what about Oron? Oron? Was let me just look. I never remember. Oh, Kiro's Games. That's it. Nice. Kiro Games. So, um, two really small de developing brands. Really, I mean, nothing really major with them. Um, they're not they're putting out any big names out there, but uh, fun games. To be honest, a lot of the small awesome. stuff I'm finding on uh, Steam now has been just fun. The small stuff that's not really AAA. Mm -hmm level but yeah it's great so i'm a big fan of indies now i mean i was before but i'm really getting back into them again how do you spell oron um a-u-r-i-o-n awesome thanks dustin um yeah looking forward to your stream tomorrow uh so my next uh item of business is uh the D, &D channel here in the avis channel uh, or the Avis server, rather. We need to make it opt-in somehow so the people who don't care about D&D &D are not getting spammed with um, messages. Who uh, who doesn't care about D&D &D and can we point them in my direction so we can we can talk about So them. we can murder them? <laughs> well, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Well, that's... Just murder um, them. You gotta roll a dice before you can do that. One of, one of the things <laughs> I was thinking about was like... We really need to figure out some kind of role thing. <laughs> yeah, we need to because, get the role system figured out. Mm -hmm. Because, like, we could do um, a react to this for access to the Dungeons & Dragons channel and make a little emoji dra dragon or something. Oh, oh, I actually have a dragon from one of my other channels that would be perfect. But we need to really figure out a role system so, so that way we can get on doing the things that we've been talking about for like five meetings is giving roles for games and whatnot yeah so mm -hmm. christian um christian can do that <laughs> <laughs> i mean i think actually when we first talked about it it was christian that was supposed to do it anyways i think you and yeah, it is. he and uh you denny were supposed to meet up and get it figured out and i don't think you ever did so now no no, we did, but um, oh. there was something, there was an issue with it. Uh, I forget what it was. Um, I think what it was that, that, I don't remember what, there, there was some kind of issue that basically it was like, we can't do it. I forget what it was. I'll talk to Chris about it. We did meet up about it, though. I think, I think it was that we couldn't use Me6 for the roles because you had to, we had to pay for it. But then you were saying you would talk to the university about getting a 
premium so that way we could do it. Did that ever happen? Did I say that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I forgot to write that down, and it didn't happen. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. okay. That works. Uh, but yeah, I'll get on that. Make sure you put that in the meeting notes, and ping is. and ping me. <laughs> okay, I'll ping you. <laughs> um. But yeah, we have to get me six premium. Um. But yeah, once we get that, I think I think we can make it work. Um. Okay, so that's for the D and D channel and the other role channels that we were talking about. Uh, next thing I have is Jesse did a good job with the e the Avis eboard application. Did everyone get a chance to look at that? Did you? Did did I? Yeah. Yeah. Did you look at it? No, I trust you did a great job. Jesse <laughs> 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 did a wonderful job. <laughs> If it's terrible, I'm sure Crispy and Luna would have said something, and they didn't, and I trust them too, yeah, so. What if, what if we planned this like, in, our, in our student chat? And just, just to test you guys to see if you actually look at the stuff we do. Then the club could not be in better, more diabolical hands, and I'm proud of you. <laughs> you open it up, and it's just Pepe Pat. Yeah. Oh my God, There's a big roll in there, too. <laughs> mode is so funny looking. <laughs> he like bounces as it like pets. It's like, yep. <laughs> it's just so funny to watch. So if I could ask the adults to just take a look at it as soon as the meeting's over and send me a quick comment, and then I can get around to posting it sometime today, so that way we can have it open for. Do you guys think like one week or two weeks? We could do two. Probably two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. Okay. Yeah. Um. I forgot what I was. I had a. I had a point. To me speaking, I don't have a point anymore. I'm just talking now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um. And uh, have you guys finalized the process for choosing the new eboard members? Like, what's going to happen after? People fill out the application, basically. Um, so we have finalized the process. It is um, every year that there is going to be a, a member leaving. So, like for this year, it's Jesse and I. The eboard will meet up. Just the student eboard, not like the advisor or you guys, uh, not mm -hmm. the adults, just the children. Just the babies, <laughs> the babies. Um. We'll meet up and we'll discuss if any of the existing eboard members would like to have a promotion to get promoted from their current position to the next highest position, or if they want, they can try to opt for a, one of the higher positions without like going through. So, like from secretary secretary to president, or from mm -hmm. vice president to president, vice president to secretary, you know, so on and so forth. Um, if no current reigning members opt in for a promotion, then we open up any leftover positions, whether they be um, positions that were left behind by those that promoted or by people not choosing to promote. So like Christian not opting at all to do anything because he didn't want to decide. Um, Crispy and Luna both said no, they liked their positions so that they're staying. Um, so now it is going to be the president position and the secretary position that are opened up. Okay. We're going to be using this Google Doc to rein in as many people that are interested as possible. And what it is is it's name, email. Um, you should put class what year they're in. No, it doesn't. It's irrelevant. That's fair. As long as they're a current student, it doesn't matter what they are. That's fair. If they're a current current student, and then uh, what position and why they're interested in that position or those positions. And then after the two-week period has closed, we will take all of the people who have applied, quote-unquote, and we will have them devise a one- to two-paragraph, like, this is why I would like to be this position. And then we will post it and have people vote 
from the Discord to choose who their next peoples are gonna be. Okay, so it's gonna be a public vote in the Discord? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if I can jump in for a Oh, Chris is here. He just got here. No, no, no. I was listening on stream this whole time and I decided not to show up as soon as Roger said, because Christian didn't show up until the last one, his <laughs> job. But I knew nobody was going to bring up this point, so I'm going to bring it up. Um, in the future, or in this current uh, keyboard election, if that's what we're going to call it, um, shouldn't somebody be able to apply for a position that's already taken? No. No, because. That's, that, do you want to get kicked out of the club? Like, we would have to hope. So it would be. Christian, it would be something we would have to hold every year to see if we wanted to vote in new people. Right. We're minimizing the amount of stress we have to put onto the members of the club who are already running, like you and I, who are already running the club, as well as being a part of multiple esports teams, as well as being a student. This is to minimize the amount of stress that is occurring on the students because it is on us to figure out the voting system, go through the right. vote, figure out the candidates, and rewrite out who we're voting for and why. So my thing is, by doing it now, we're leaving it for the future, so that way they don't have to do nearly as much, first of all. Yes. Second of all, if someone like, you know, me, who is sitting here in the vice presidency spot, decides, like, I don't care anymore, and I just, I'm just going to sit in every meeting and not say anything and do nothing for the club, first of all, Roger would flip out and assign me, like, a million things a week. I mean, I don't think I'd flip out. That's a little much, but... <laughs> Well, you know, so I might, I'd, I'd really raise my, way. I'd raise my eyebrow in a, in a well, disapproving way. In that situation, it would become a, a moment of honesty and sincerity where you have to bring up that you're no longer interested in being a leader for the club. At that point, we will figure out what you would like to do. Would you like to have another position? Would you like to just straight up leave? Would you no longer want to be a part of the e-board? If you no longer want to be a part of the e-board, we hold the voting process sooner for that one position or even for the amount of positions that are being filled in by the seniors of that year. So, like, if you wanted to leave right now, we would be holding a vice president position, a secretary position, and the president position. I just think my point is if somebody – in the club believes that they can do a better job as a vice president or as a secretary or as a treasurer i feel like they should have the availability to state that and, and uh try to prove it to the club well i mean i guess so here's the thing that you, so there's two different things there's one one theory is you're creating a challenge for position like you do in like yeah. music for seats right so, like, in chairs, in music, you have a first chair, second chair, third chair. So that the, that idea that you're bringing up is a is kind of a challenge for chair kind of position, which I'm not sure I dig. But I that's, not, that, that's not my thing. The second thing is, you do have a point, though. I mean, should we create, quote-unquote, term limits? And I think what I'm hearing is you're talking about, you've made a motion of, like, should there be term limits? And it's a one-year term for every position, and everything gets, you know, unlocked. And, you know... You can you can reapply, but there's a one year term limit, and everybody like basically everything resets, and everybody gets to vote for the positions. The incumbent may win every time, yeah. so that's it's it's a matter of are there are there term limits? I think is the is the matter at hand. So the two questions is, is one, do you want a chair type position where you can say you know what, I'll just be a better president than Parker, so I'm going to challenge him for it. Um, I would or, say like the the, elect, the second one or your term limits. Uh, Someone okay. can say, hey, I would like to run for this position. And then if nobody says anything, then it kind of, you know, then it goes back to the e-board number because we've currently had it. So then then it's the, then the question at, at, on the floor is, uh, do we want to have term limits for the positions? And if that's so, how long? Okay. Um, so here's the dealio. Um, I think adding term limits would be unfair to future members, because Parker ran for three years as president unopposed. We never challenged his authority. We never said, should someone else be president? Same thing with me as secretary. And, you know, it's it's not fair, because they can look at our club history and be like, well, Parker ran for three years and nobody said anything. Okay, so... To make it, to make it 
So we should have challenged him. What did he say? Um, he's saying like that. I was thinking. It was a joke. Um, and also like when we discussed this, why didn't you ask us this? Because we we had a talk the about it. The discussion wasn't like it, it didn't feel like a discussion. It felt like a decision was made, and that's why I'm bringing it up now, where there is a discussion, and there are, uh, our advisors are here to advise us. So like I think this is a. The other thing with Parker and you being part of the club for so long is the fact that Avis wasn't that big then, and nobody showed up to meetings then, but now Avis has become a huge thing with over 100 members and this and that. So moving into uh, the future, it, it might be something we can look to uh, evolve upon. I, I, personally, I think that re-electing every person every year would just complicate the entire thing way more than it needs to be. Because even when clubs were on campus, even the SGA, this is what they do. They open it up to current members, and... Uh, well, you know. Jabev actually just said in chat that she thinks all positions should be open, equal chance for all, because that's what happens with the SGA elections. So I, I guess what, what she's saying is that um, with the SGA, every single year, everyone everyone's position is open up again. So you every, every incumbent needs to decide, okay, do I want to run again? And basically was goes back to what Roger's saying is that the term limit would be one year. And then you guys just designate a time uh, of the year to be like, okay, this is when the term starts slash ends. Like, um, yeah, she's saying she'll have to fight for her secretary position again if she decides to run for it again. So it might make sense to do it that way just to match up with what the SGA does. But I mean, in the end, it's going to be your guys' decision. So I'm just kind of the mouthpiece for Jen right now. Well, like, Thank you, John. for me anyway, um, like, it's your guys' decision uh, because me and Parker are leaving. Like, if you guys want to run the club that way, that's fine. Um, but I know every club that I was a part of on campus, they did it the way that me and Parker are trying to say that it would be easiest because it's easiest. It's easiest, and you know, it's not great. every club. I mean, the SGA is huge, huge, and it's a student-wide thing. Whereas our clubs are just specific to a set of people that have interest in whatever the club is about. It's not... The SGA is the entire student population. Avis is not. That's true. That's a good point, to model it after the clubs instead of the the SGA. The reason why I'm suggesting it the way I am is because I'm, it's kind of a basis off of SGA and what they're doing, but it's not... Everyone has to re-run for their same position every year. It's a... If somebody wants, it's kind of like a 50-50. A if somebody wants to apply for this position, if somebody, you know, if, you know, Swan shows up and he's like, I want to be the vice president, well, then I'd say, okay, now it's, I would have to decide, do I want to contest him for this spot? Because he's coming out and, and calling me out, essentially. So then Swan and I would be the one, uh, the candidates, right? And then we run an election like that. As opposed, to, but if Swan doesn't want that or nobody else wants it, then I can just slot in next year as VP and call it a day, right? All right, so then what I'm hearing then is a hybrid term limit unless unopposed. So it's yeah. real, it's, it's the, you know, so it's a, it's a best of both worlds, just like this club always manages to pull together, is we'll, we'll call it one year term limit unless we go into elections and it's unopposed. And if it runs unopposed, it's, I mean, you're unopposed either way. Um, so, you know, and to, to Parker and Jesse's point, the chances of people opposing are probably kind of low because of the size of the club and interest and stuff like that. So, well, you know, it kind of runs, it'll run best of both worlds. Does that sound good? So one year term limits, unless, unless unopposed, and then you automatically roll into your position again. We good? Um, if that's the case, then Christian, you can take over the voting process and redo the survey because I'm not doing it. <laughs> well, what's the, what's the, well, is anybody his... Wait, why would it be different? I don't understand. Yeah, what's, yeah, like, because if, now it, if, it, if every position is open, then that needs to be put in the survey. Yeah, and... it's no longer, well, are you filling in for the, are you going in for a president or a secretary position? It's now, are you going in for any of our positions? 
Oh well, you know, so and the other, why, you, well, no. The other thing too is we can decide. We can decide that this year, for this for this this election. I mean, look, you guys are creating it as you know, you're building the ship as you're sailing. You can decide for this election, we're gonna run it this way. But moving forward, we're changing. We're we're creating a process mm -hmm. that looks like this, and you know, the club next year can decide that they want to do a different process. You know what I mean? So like, we can say we'll just run it. We'll send the survey out as it is for this year. But moving forward, the plan is that it's unopposed, gets the role again. If there's an opposition, it's a vote. And the new president next year, if they want to, and the, the new e-board wants to come up with another way, they can work on that next year. Does that, does that work for everybody? Yeah. I, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. Does anybody want a lab? My dog is driving me nuts today. That's <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I want a puppy. Give me dog. Give me dog. Just Bring kidding. Over. Let's go. Give him doggo. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's cool. So that does that work for everybody? Yeah. Sounds good. That doesn't matter. That well, that, that's that's kind of it. So like, you know, Parker and Jesse can kind of build the plan the way they like it, and there's a happy medium that is built for next year. And then I personally think the happy medium people will like that. So uh, I doubt it'll change much, but cool. All right. Okay. Right. So that was all I had. Um. Does anyone else have anything they would like to bring up? So, yeah, yeah. Hello. Well, oh yeah, you missed you missed the welcome, Chris. <laughs> I was already here. That was in the beginning. <laughs> he, he just didn't want to join because I threatened to give him work. Um, I love how I love how. By the way, I just want to point this out. I love how in Strongest Dog's interview, Chris was like. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You're good at Overwatch, but what's in it for me? Like, I'm on the Valorant team. And then as soon as Strongest Dog joins the team, he's like, you know what? Fuck Valorant. I'm going to the Overwatch team. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I, I can't let Christian down here. I gotta like do great jobs, for, you know, on the Valorant side. I gotta like help him out with that. Oh, he, okay, he's Overwatch now. All right. He grinded Valorant for weeks for you, and then you were just like, later, home slice. <laughs> it was not just for me. Find his hands. Moving back to Roger's point, please. Uh, I don't. I didn't really have one. Uh, just that. Right, so where are we with the Jesse? You had a um. Yet another takeaway of the uh, charity event. Uh -huh. Words were escaping me. You were going to reach out to somebody to talk to them, the Epic or whatever that group was? Yeah, I messaged them, and there's a couple people that are interested um, okay. in at least helping out. I don't know if they want to do a stream or whatnot, but they're at least interested in helping out. Um, so I told them that once we, it gets closer, we'll have more concrete details for them to look over and decide on fully, but there's some interest, so that's okay. good. Well, that's good. And did we pick a date yet? Did we start talking about dates or no? No, 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 no. It's too far out for us to really, like, pick a concrete date. I just want to do it in April because that's optimal in this month. Okay. Uh, I think that's, I think that was all. I had just the fact that I, like, uh, that Dustin's going to take this week's stream and I'll take the next week's stream. Um, do we did we make any progress whatsoever on? Did, has anybody reached out about potentially wanting that second streamer position? No, I got no. No, nobody reached out. To I me. I reached out to a bunch of students and instructors as well and sent an announcement out. Um, I haven't heard anything back. I'll be honest. Um, it's kind of sad to hear that no one wants to do it, but um, nothing yet so far. So as an interim personnel. To, to like hold that position we could in theory we could set up a second streaming channel and have strong since we now have two coaches if there are two matches going on say if there's an fps match like overwatch or something and then there's like rocket league going on we could have strongest stream the uh the the what the 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 FPS that's the word those are words um and then Denny can stream the Other Rocket League match. Yeah, um, I guess yeah. I mean that's the only problem with that is uh. I want to co-stream and have somebody to hang out with every time. No oh, no sorry, sorry, no I don't no I don't care about that I don't care about that I'll solo cast all day every day I don't care about that um 
I love to hear myself talk. No, <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but like for example, um, on Tuesdays, the Valorant match starts at eight, and then Overwatch practice starts at eight thirty. Yeah, um, so kind of bouncing back and forth. And, and then I also, and then we also have Rocket League practice that starts at nine. So, those are all kind of overlapping. Um, I would it's prefer... like a head coach scheduling problem to me. Yeah, it's just a it's just a scheduling problem. It has nothing to do with me. I'm, I'm kidding. Talk to my players. They're like, oh yeah, I'm only available after nine. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, I guess practice is at nine. You know what I mean? But like, uh, I would prefer strongest just kind of focused on the coaching aspect. But there is something to be said for having the, uh, you know, the post UE Sports Two channel. I could potentially stream the. Overwatch match on Wednesday because like Valorant practice starts at 7, Overwatch match starts at 8, so I could play with, I could be with Valorant up until like 8 and then stream the Overwatch match. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. I like that idea. What's think... some, do we have other games on I because I only see Valorant and Overwatch. What's the schedule for oh, oh I can just check the schedule for other games I was going to say on Wednesday. Yeah. Are you here's streaming a match? So here's the thing. So we're, we're getting to solutioning. Um, I, I, I think what I, thank you, thank you, Denny and Strong's Dog for, uh, kind of volunteering that. The, the two questions I have is one, so a point in a question is one, uh, point, if you're willing and Denny is cool with you streaming, regardless of time or whatever, then we just have the, the work of making sure that you have the right setup and capture cards and everything and you're all good to go. I don't know if you've ever He wouldn't that. need a capture card unless he was doing Smash. Well, and I already have that, so I could do Smash. Well, that's the other piece is willingness to and this isn't for like this moment discussion, willingness to help stream with the club as well. Right? So it's not just mm, you know, right. varsity matches, it's uh, you know, Thursday nights, it's events, it's which is know, not technically in the job description that I wrote, that's so I that's why I'm not, right. Yeah, that's that's a, a not for right. here discuss like the debate, but it's something to talk about. Mm -hmm. Um, if that's you know if that's something there's interest and you want to focus on, etc. Because yeah, I would prefer uh, to have a student do it personally. I but look, I would too. Like my my thing is always student first. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but the challenge is is as we build the culture of gaming and as we bring in more students that are kind of more interested in this side of the house, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, once the academics are, not to bring it back to the academics, but that's what I do, um, once the academics continue and bring students in, there's going to be more students that are interested in that kind of thing. Right. Right? So, you know, if we have to do some interim things, like, um, you know, if I have to grab the channel more, if, you know, whatever, we'll just kind of, I just want to make sure we have the setup of, like, okay, we always have somebody to stream. So that's my thoughts. Uh, cool. Cool. So, so the takeaway will be somebody will get strongest dog to uh like work with him to get his. Have you have you streamed before, dog? Yeah, I've done streaming. The thing is, I just moved into um live with my fiance. So basically, well, like this year. So I'm not sure that my connection is stable enough because I'm on. We're running like. I don't know. The internet is just kind of spotty sometimes where it'll cut out like here and there. So I just got to make sure that that is staying. What do you have for a carrier? You know? um, Comcast. So, John, I would say just as an aside, we should probably kind of just talk about making sure that you've got blast internet. Yeah. Just just as a coach. Yeah. Take the streaming aside as just as a coach. We oh, playing sure games, I have no problem. Like, I don't lag in games at all. It's just when I've done streaming in the past, sometimes it'll, like, it'll cut out. And I just don't want to have, like, a poor experience for people who are watching. But mm, games, okay. I'm totally fine. Like, obviously, I have my, my gaming setup is totally good. If I didn't have good internet for my games, I'd just be mad on a personal level. Because I'd be like, oh, <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but, yeah, and just every the streaming. Gamer everywhere felt it. I think yeah. it might just be settings, to be honest. I think it might just be I have to mess with my OBS because I haven't streamed in a while. So mm. just changing the bit rate and stuff and just seeing what will make for a consistent stream. Okay. So we just do, we have to do with the things to make sure you're, you're set up. And then we can talk about like what 
the schedule looks like for varsity play, what the schedule if, if you're just interested on the, the club level play. And then I guess for the students, we just got to keep putting the word out of like, you know, looking for, you know, a formal position of somebody that, that wants to come in and take this. I mean, I think j wants to, but, you know. Uh, she should. You know, she's listening. She should. I, I know. That's <laughs> what I'm saying, because I know she's listening. To the stream. She always shows up for the stream. Mm -hmm. She's J -Bab. always chiming in. I don't, I mean. She I think already she started should. streaming for us. Yeah, she already started streaming. She has some of the best viewership numbers. I mean, I'm just saying. She does. It's a good opportunity right. to build your own, start your own, you know stream you get she could, followers she and could be the next summit. subs even yeah. maybe even subs she's also extremely busy though so yeah, let's yeah, not voluntell her stop being the voice of reason john <laughs> all right that's, 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 that's all right voluntell people outside of the board oh, oh, oh that's how that works okay i forgot all right so she said i wouldn't chat. mind she said i wouldn't mind doing it i need more info um uh, so, see, yeah, see, I can set up a meeting. You missed 100% of the shots you don't take, John. See how that works? <laughs> Jeez. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Half of our meetings is just Roger being mad at me. For one reason or another. <laughs> Never. All right, I, that's all I had. Great, great stuff. Anyone else have anything before we uh, conclude? No, I'm nope. all set. I'm doing good. All right. Great meeting, everyone. I'm going to catch this fish and then turn off the stream. Yeah, fanta fantastic work. All jokes aside, I'm very impressed with the amount of work you guys and you know the effort you guys are putting in lately. Yeah, you guys are killing it. You really are. So you should all be yeah. very proud of yourself with the, the the level of, I mean, we joke and we roast each other, but like from where we started almost a year ago to, to today, it's just a total different group, and I'm very proud of every one of you. So good work. It's great. Great. Speaking of roasting each other, did you see my uh, message? In yeah, we saw, I saw, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.